Here's the thing about making mixed media art is the only limit is your creativity. And these are just a few things that I've found. Hardware stores are fantastic for these kinds of things. I've got some sandpaper here. I like the coarse grit, so the, the smaller the number, this is 60, the coarser it is, but you could use like 280, which is very fine. And um, chore boys or chore girls, I'm not sure what they're called here. Um, sanding block, this is from the hardware store. Toothbrush, um, this is more for our wet removal techniques and a stencil. So these are a few things that you can use for doing wet removal, or dry removal rather. So I, I've got a few demo pieces here that I want to share with you. And basically what we're talking about is taking paint away. Now for those of you that have more experience painting, there's quite a number of you. I w and for those of you that are just starting, just have fun and learn this. But some of you are more experienced painters, so you're going to think long term in terms of the work you're doing or bigger paintings. These techniques that I'm teaching you today are a great way to start tying in layers and bringing your painting together. So in terms of finishing a painting, and when we, when we talk about finishing techniques, we'll come back to these, but that's something to consider for those of the more experienced artists. For those of us that are beginning, just have fun and enjoy the techniques. So if you're gonna use stencils for this, great, but I recommend the plastic ones because I do have some paper stencils and they'll just get torn up. So this is where it's like nice to have different tools, like this one, this drawer boy here, I bought it at the dollar store. That's another great place for stuff like this, the dollar store. So it's a little muddy, but you can get rid of that mud. So basically I'm just removing paint and you can do it just haphazardly or more intentionally, like, um, you know, like this painting here, and this is actually gonna be the next exercise you do where you're gonna do an overlapping frames painting. And, and like something that I like to consider with paint removal is accentuating lines. Like you can see the start of a line here. And so this um, removal techniques is a nice way to push back mm -hmm. the, um, the paint back here. Well, here, you can see this better. Like, it's kind of great, but what I'm trying to do here is add some definition and line and also create depth in my painting. Mm -hmm. So when you have a painting like this here, just like it is, the paint is all in one layer, so to speak, and it lacks that depth. And, and what you want to create in your work is um, tension and contrast. Because that's really like what I'm building you up is what works for a good abstract painting. And this is a tool you can use so that if some of the paint is scrubbed away and some of it is standing out, then you have two things going on and it's going to give you a sense of depth. You can use tape and you can, you can just dry, like some people actually sand their paintings dry. You know, I'm thinking it might work better on the black. but it's not that much. So what I do is up it a little level and use some water. You know what you have under there? Sometimes I do and sometimes <laughs> I don't. Oh. So, yeah, that's a good question. Sue always asks the very <laughs> advanced questions. <laughs> okay, so now I'm using water. And this is where it's nice to have a paper towel handy. At home, with my big paintings, I use an electric sander. Seriously, I have an orbital sander. Okay, so let's see how this did. Not so bad, but it's really, you can see it a little bit. You're starting to create line and definition, which is nice. 
And you can also at the art store buy tape that curves, which is kind of neat. So if you wanted to say put it around a circle and then work ways that you can create really nice lines. So if you want to have sharp lines in your painting, um, then the tape is a really handy tool to use. The next level up is rubbing alcohol, which is your best friend with acrylic painting. I'm going to use a ruler now. So you can start seeing some of the layers come through. Mm -hmm. 